Welcome back everyone. In this video, I've got something really cool that I wanna share with you, which is an application slash service called Imagine AI. So in the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of artificial intelligence start to creep into photo editors. And up to this point, it's been a lot of things that more or less do Photoshop type things like replacing skies or being able to manipulate features on a face. This is a lot different. I think it's something that is probably gonna be very useful for some of you. So I'm gonna show you how this works, but essentially if you're in Adobe Lightroom, this enables you to create a collection of images and you can actually upload them using Imagine AI's application and what it does is it does all the editing for you so this is really useful if you've got a session of let's say several hundred images that you need to edit so I was really impressed with this and Imagine AI actually reached out and said would you like to sponsor a video and share it with others I said absolutely so let's get into it I'm going to show you exactly how this works so right now we're in Adobe Lightroom and I've set up a collection and I put 20 images in here and I selected a lot of these because let's say some of them have white balance problems. Some of them were backlit, so they're underexposed. And I wanna just kinda of throw these at the algorithm to see just how good this is to show you guys. So the next step here is I need to open up Imagine AI's application. You can get this if you use the link in the description below this video, and you'll also get access to 1,500 free edits. All right, so if this is your first time to launch Imagine AI, it will take you step by step through the process. It is very easy. Essentially, you're gonna give Imagine AI access to your Lightroom catalog. So you do need to close Lightroom. So the first First thing it's going to suggest that you do is upload a bunch of images so that the algorithm and the deep learning can learn your style. This is where it actually gets very interesting. So the idea behind this concept of deep learning that you probably heard before is that you have an algorithm that you're going to train to do a specific task. And what it's going to do is start to recognize your style of color editing. And so if you're a seasoned photographer, you've done this a lot, it will actually replicate your style. You do need to take some time to set up that profile and they suggest you upload a minimum of 3,000 images. You should upload probably more. The more data that you can give Imagine AI, the better it's going to be at learning. I'm going to skip that step right now because let's say you're not a seasoned editor and you really don't have enough images to define a style. Well, there are some styles that are created for you in here already. And Imagine AI calls these talent profiles. And so these are profiles they've already pre-set up and you can select one of these to go with your project. And that's what we're gonna do on here. There's some nice monochromes in here. Uh, there's things like cinematic luxury, natural feel, Feels, uh, body language. There's some really nice portrait stuff in here. So if you want warm skin tones across your entire uh, collection, that's a really great one to go with. I'm just going to pick the modern classic since I don't have a lot of portraits in here. Uh, I just kind of want the modern classic look, so to speak. So we're going to select this. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to tell Imagine AI that I want that collection of images that has the 20 images that I already had in there. They're unedited. And then when you go through, it does give you some options in here. So for instance, if you have edited some of those images, you can say only pick the ones that are not edited. Or if you want to, you can take it further and you can you go by flagged images or starred images. So if you don't want to do everything, you can put some limitations around what you want it to do, select. The next step is actually to point to that catalog of images. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now we are ready to begin. So what's going to happen is when we've created this project is behind the scenes, it's going to upload all of your images. And when you start doing this, it gives you a little counter so you can see where it is. And depending on your connection speed to the internet, Internet, this could take a while, but what I found is it was actually pretty quick over here with 20 images. And then the cool thing is Imagine AI was really quick to actually process all these and download them. Now, what it's going to do when you hit download is it will create an archive. It'll put your project there and it's going to download all of these edits into Lightroom. So if we launch Lightroom, we're in grid view right now, and you're going to see that the edits do begin to populate. Now, what's cool is if I go into the development view of any of these images, you can look on the right hand side on this edit pane and you can see exactly exactly what Imagine AI did. There's a lot of sliders that have been moved. There's a tone curve that's been adjusted here. If we go down, there's a lot of work that's done in the colors to match this talent AI profile that they selected in here. And it's not the same on every image. I mean, it really did go in and figure out where the highlights are, where the shadows are, bring, be able to pull those up, balance them out. I didn't get a funky HDR look on any of these. It really did a nice job. And if you kind of compare the before and afters here on a few, uh, you can see that there's a big difference. And this saved a ton of time. I only had 20 images in here, but let's say that you had several hundred, that would be a massive time saver. Now, the really cool thing about this is if you are not really happy with, you know, let's say you want a little more contrast on an image than what Imagine AI did, then it's just slider adjustments. So I can go through and I can actually just work on them from there, but this at least gave me a great starting point. And I think in the case
cases of like event photography or something like that, you're probably going to be closer to being done than you actually think. It really does do a nice job. And of course, if you're matching your own style on this, then it's probably going to be more in tune. I'm just testing one of their talent profiles here, but I think it did a really nice job. Another thing that's really cool that you can do is if you're really not happy with these or you want to try it a different way is you can go back into Imagine AI. And if you go click on the archive section up here, you can see here's my Imagine AI demo project that I just did. The profile was the modern classic. Here's where we are in here. And if I go clear over to these three dots here, I can select that and I can say, download my edits again, let's say, or I could edit this entire project again with a different profile. So nothing is set in stone. And this really kind of just works really well with Lightroom in terms of the non-destructive behavior of everything. So nothing is just set in stone. So you're really not going to mess anything up. It's really easy to change edits if you need to. I think they've done an outstanding job with this. And I think that the AI component of this is really interesting to me because it's kind of like, why didn't anybody else think of this already? and start with this. It's like we have all the Photoshop technical things that you can do with sky replacement and so on and so forth. But for something like this that really is useful, um, I'm really impressed with this software. Okay, so who is Imagine AI best suited to? So let's say you're a beginning photographer and you don't have a whole lot of editing experience, but you do have a large project or a large volume of images that you want to apply edits to. I think it would be great for that. I think if you're an event photographer or even a wedding photographer, this is going to be a huge huge time saver. If you've ever come back, and I know photographers who actually farm this out and spend a lot of money and have to wait two weeks for somebody to turn their images around with just some basic edits applied, this is going to be a much cheaper alternative. It's going to be a huge time saver. I think for somebody who does events, who does maybe weddings, and you could go in and actually tweak out some specific images like portraits or something that you really wanted to be good, this is going to be a massive time saver. Another thing that's really impressive about Imagine AI is the pricing on this. So if you go to their website, and I'll put a link in the show description below. I might be able to save you some money there. But if you go to their website, you go to the pricing section, you can see what their standard pricing is. And essentially, it ends up being about five cents a photo. Now, there is an add-on charge, and there's a little calculator on here. So if you want it to perform cropping and straightening, it does a really nice job on those as well. You can see that this is actually very affordable. So let's say I have a 1,000 images in here, and I want it to also do the cropping and straightening. I can apply those. It's about seven cents an image. That's 70 bucks for the project. A retoucher is going to cost you a lot more than that. So check out the link in the description. They don't require a credit card or anything. It literally is a thousand free edits that you can get started with to see if this is right for you. If you're an Adobe Lightroom user, I think this is absolutely essential. So go check it out. And I want to give a special shout out and thanks to the folks at Imagine AI for sponsoring this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, later.